video is going to be all about this stove. I have been searching high and low for a few years for a true authentically vintage stove and I finally found one and I'm just so excited about it. And I actually did film a vlog of the day that I got the stove, but I'm having trouble with that footage. It's not transferring well to my computer. So if I can save that footage and get that vlog up for you guys, I will. But until then, I wanted to do a video all about the stove, how I got the stove, and the history behind the stove. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of backstory as to how I obtained this lovely oven. Um, I actually go to church with a lady who owns a shop. She sells things that are antique and she sells things that are new, but it's a family owned business. And when people have loved ones that have passed away and they don't want the stuff that's in the house, they will call her or her family and they will come and look at what they have and offer them just a flat price for it. So they actually had a customer who had a floral shop um, and the person that I guess owned it, worked there, passed away and they wanted to get rid of everything in the floral shop. And upstairs in the floral shop, there was an apartment and there was this lovely oven and there was also a vintage refrigerator, which I didn't take the refrigerator, but I took this lovely oven that is why it's smaller size because it was made to fit like an apartment. Um, I also think this would be really cute in a vintage camper as well, but it works really well in this space here because of it being small. We don't have a fitted area for a stove. Usually in kitchens, you have a fitted area in your countertop for a stove. For some reason, our kitchen is not like that. And it was not like that from the time that they built this house back in 1960. I have pictures from when the house was originally listed for sale after the first owner that had it sold it. And there was nothing here for a stove. We have one counter with a sink and then a little half counter for like a counter, a bar type thing. But there was no fitted area for a stove. So this small oven works really nice in this space because it gives me plenty of room. So when they cleaned out this floral shop, they listed everything on Facebook and said make us an offer. So I saw the stove, knew immediately that I wanted it and I offered them $100. She countered back and told me she would take $60 for it, which was amazing. <laughs> I got a real vintage stove for $60, which to me, you just can't beat that because most of them are really, really expensive. So I was super excited about that. And I had a vlog of me picking it up and like the whole day of bringing it home and cleaning it up because it was a little bit gunky, but unfortunately all that footage is having problems transferring onto my computer and my editing iMovie stuff. So if I can save it, I will post that video for you guys. If not, then I won't be able to. Um, but I took it home, cleaned it up a little bit because there was a lot of gunk around like the letters and around the eyes and things like that. So I cleaned all of that up and it just looks so cute in here. It fits the space so well. So I wanted to go over a little bit of the history behind Crosley, the brand Crosley. I could not find a lot specific about this stove. I tried to look up this stove. I did multiple Google searches of different things related to this stove and could not find this stove anywhere on the internet. So I just looked into Crosley and why they started inventing appliances and that kind of thing. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of the history behind Crosley appliances. The Crosley company it was run by two brothers, the main inventor being Powell Crosley and then his brother Lewis Crosley. Now Powell Crosley was an American inventor and he was also a big entrepreneur. He also owned a major league baseball team called the Cincinnati Reds and he was really big at like a big pioneer with broadcasting radio broadcasting and his company actually helped operate the WLW radio station up until the 1930s the Crosley company just focused on radios TVs and automobiles but in the 1930s they decided to expand into appliances and other household products this was when Powell Crosley invented the refrigerator called the Shelvador, which he patented because it was at the time the only refrigerator that had shelves in the door, which became a huge deal in the industry. The industry went crazy and people started putting shelves in refrigerator doors because it was a really cool idea because we still have them in our refrigerator doors to this day. Something also interesting that I read about the Crosley company is that because Powell Crosley invested in his own company instead of in the stock market, he was able to stay afloat during the Great Depression and keep products going out to the public and keep his workers employed all throughout the Great Depression. 
I couldn't find a lot of information regarding Crosley stoves specifically. Most of the information was just about when he started making appliances and about the shelf door. But I wanted to show you guys some details on this stove and talk about that for a little while. So this is it. Um, I have three eyes, which might bother some people that you don't have four, but three is plenty for me. Um, I had to figure out these controls a little bit, which one controlled which eye. Um, and then the oven will go all the way up to 550 and the thing about the stove is it gets very hot so usually if a recipe calls for me to set the oven on like 450 i'll set it on 400 to 425 because it gets so 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 hot um, another neat thing about this stove and i have never ever seen this before but it has an electrical outlet and i did test this earlier and it does work i took my countertop lamp which is Ignore the fact the shade is crooked. <laughs> it fell over. Um, but I took the lamp and I put it on here and plugged it up and it works just like an electrical outlet. So I'm not sure what they would have used that for, but maybe my guess would be an appliance, like a mixer or I don't know, some other kind of electrical appliance. They would plug it in or maybe a percolator. Percolator sounds better. An electric percolator, they would just plug it in here. Um, but it works just like an electrical outlet, which is really, really cool I think um and then this is the oven hopefully this doesn't wake my babies up but the door is really really squeaky I try not to make it too loud um but I have two racks I mean it's not a super wide oven but I really aside from the fact that I have one baking sheet that's a little long I haven't had any problems fitting what I needed to cook in here um it's a little dirty because I accidentally spilled something in it but then it has this warmer tray and I would assume excuse the fact this needs to be cleaned but I would assume this was like if you made a pie because it's not that wide like it's not a lot of room right here but I would seem like if you made a pie or something I would think this is what this is for like I said I could not find any information on this specific stove if you happen to know what this is for let me know in the comments um but I know with the bigger stoves a lot of times they have a bread warmer so I would assume this is a warmer I could be completely wrong about that, um, but there's that, and then the oven door, and then this down here I thought was a drawer, but I don't think it is because I've not been able to get anything to come out down here. It just, I don't know, probably the inner workings of the stove. So there's no drawer down here, but I really don't mind that as much because I, I really hated in my old oven having to get, bend down to get my pans out. But this is the oven and I think it is so cute. It's got so much charm and character and then you can tell it fits in this space so much better. Before when I had the big oven, I could not even get those cabinet doors all the way open. It was so awkward. So this just fits so much better in this space. And I've got a plate shelf that I'm gonna paint and set over top of it. And I just really, I'm so tickled. I'm just so tickled about this stove, y'all. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and this look at my 1950s vintage stove. If you did enjoy it, make sure you throw a like down below and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel for future videos. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.